Today, we'll learn about surface areas and volumes. Students, in your previous classes, you have learned about many shapes like cube, cuboid, cylinder, sphere and hemisphere. These all are solid shapes. So you must have read about the volume also. What is volume? You know these solids, they occupy some space. The space occupied by any object is called volume. Here, like I have these clay pieces, like I have this. This shape is cuboid. This is sphere. This is cylinder. You can say a road roller also is like this and glass is like this. And we have cone also where this is a cone. Cone is like our body cap, right? Now, to learn more about volume, let's see this example. This is a cylindrical cup filled with water. And if I pour this water in this bowl, which is hemispherical in shape, this will occupy this much space. Now, volume has not changed, but the shape of the volume is changed. Here it was volume of cylinder. Here it is volume of hemisphere in this much space. So, whenever here you have seen all these shapes, they all have same volume. Like I have this cylinder, I can convert it into, into cube also. I have taken all equal pieces of clay. See, this is, this is a cube. Here this is a cuboid. If I want to convert it to cube again, cuboid again, see, this will be cuboid of same shape, same size, same length, breadth and weight. Right? I have converted into this. So, the volume is same. The shapes have converted. So, their lengths, breadths, heights are also different. The radius is also different. So here, if I have measured this, its length is 6 cm, its width is 2 cm and its height is 1 cm. If I find its volume, this is LBH. That is 6 cm into 2 cm into 1 cm. 6, 2 are 12, 1 are 12. Centimeter into centimeter into centimeter. Here the concept of exponents is there. 1, 1, 1. It becomes 3. So, volume of this cuboid is 12 centimeter cube. So, we have the concept that volume remains the same but we change the shape only. Thank you.